for the Ashley dress is to take our front uh, bodice piece and over here I've just put pins in where the four notches are and we're just going to pleat it so we're just going to fold it and pin it and fold it and pin it so it looks like that on the good side. So we're just going to quickly stitch that down. And while we're at the machine, at the bottom here, we're from this notch over to the edge here. There's a notch on the side right there. We're just going to do a long gathering stitch. So like a stitch length of four along here. And then quickly sew these down. Okay, it should now look like this. Uh, so that's top stitch there and I've got a long gathering stitch from this notch over here. We're just going to quickly gather that up by pulling on one of the threads. So once we have gathered along the bottom and we've got our pleats in place on both our pieces, we're going to take the top piece. Now to line it up correctly, there is a notch over here. Um, and you can just see, look at the way it's curved there. So you want the shorter curve on the inside edge. So I'm matching that up like this. Now we are going to pin the notches for the sash. So I've got little clips in here for the notches. So we're just going to pin them down and just top stitch them closed for all four pieces on both sides. There and over here. So there's a notch here and here, just matching them up. So do that on all four. Once we have the pleats stitched down on all four pieces for the waistband, we're going to sew it together or to take two pieces, sew them right sides together, just along the top and bottom edge. Once you have your waistband pieces made, we're going to just attach it at the center front here under the bust line. And so it's this, all that shape there. Once we've sewn the sash on, on the under bust here, we're going to sew the center front seam together. Now that we have our center front seam sewn, we can take the back piece and sew it along the side seams. Now we aren't ready to attach this uh, sash yet, so we're just going to move that out of the way. And then pin this down. Once we pin along the side seam, we're ready to just give it a regular stitch, so we'll do this on both sides. Once we have the side seam sewn, we will sew the shoulder seams. Uh, and after that, so I'm just going to pin it here, um, stitch and press. And at that point, um, it might be a good place to just stop for a minute and try it on just to test out the fit. Once your side seams and shoulder seams are sewn and pressed, 
and you're happy with it. Um, there's a little notch here, so we're going to take our sash and attach it to the bottom, of, put it by the bottom of that notch and just sew that real quick. Now we're going to sew the center back seam. So I've got this pinned right sides together. Uh, make sure you match up your sash really well so that isn't so that matches up nicely and it's not off kilter. Um, I like to put my pin going horizontally here. This is the zipper notch area. So we're going to sew from the bottom up here with a regular stitch length back stitch and continue along here with a machine base to prepare for the zipper. Now we're ready to install the zipper. So we have the center back seam pressed open here and I've got my zipper and I'm going to put it face down and the end of the zipper here is going to go just past where I have this pressed open and we have to pin it in place just to the seam allowance and we're not going to sew it through to the other side. We're going to pin it down, hand baste it in here, and then with a zipper foot, sew it down just to the side. So we need to pin it and baste it in place, making sure that the zipper teeth are centered exactly with the seam. So now we're going to go sew the zipper in. So I've got my zipper foot on here and this is, I just want to show you underneath. So this is the seam allowance and the zipper tape. So we are not sewing it through the bodice. So we're, what's going to happen is we're going to stitch through here on both sides, really close to where the opening will be. So, and then we'll take a basting stitch out after. So for now, just sew starting at the I'm starting at the bottom and going to the top once we get towards the bottom um, I've just gone ahead and I've opened up the basting seam here so what why I'm doing that is because if you sew right to here you won't be able to sew around the zipper slide very neatly just because you can't get close in there so I put the needle down the fabric and I'm going to lift this up and slide this down um, and I'm, I'm going to sew around it. Okay, so like that, and then continue sewing down. And we want to be as close to the zipper teeth as possible. Okay. Now I'm going to zip it up again. I'm going to keep it zipped down. So I'm going to start here. The needle in, press her foot up. I'm going to slide this up. back down and then just continue sewing to the bottom. After you've removed the basting um, on the top, if you want an easy trick to remove all these tiny, tiny little threads that you end up picking out forever, use a, uh, lint ro a lint roller. You can get them really quickly. Now we're going to have a look at our sleeve patterns. So what we're going to do first of all is you take your sleeve and you make a little pleat and pin it down. So to do that, you have two little notches on each side. 
and then you just match them up. Um, and I always like to have pleats facing downwards. That's just my personal preference. And just pin that down. And same on the other side. And then we will just top stitch that quickly in place. Once you've sewn a basting stitch in the center of your sleeve to the halfway point, just gonna gather it a little bit and then top stitch it in place. I've gone ahead and done a gathering stitch just to the side of the seam from the notch down and I did it on either side just to make it even. So we're just going to scrunch that down again and stitch it down on either side. So just play with the scrunching till you get it the way you like it and you want to make sure you have it even on both pieces. Now that we have the ruching stitched down on the side seam and I've surged it as well. You can bias bind it if you prefer, if you don't have a serger. Then we just need to do a double turned hem just a small rolled hem like that and top stitch. Once you have your sleeves finished, it's time to put them into the bodice of the dress. So we are going to gather the sleeve up and, until it's about the right size of the armhole. And then just pin it in so the sleeve is a fair bit bigger than the actual armhole so I like to scrunch it up pretty well and then even it out once it's in. Um, another thing as well we need to look for our sleeve notches. There okay there's a the sleeve notch. Now we're going to put the sleeve in. So I've gathered it up a little bit up here, but we're going to gather it much more in the sleeve. Um, so we're going to put, this is the underarm seam. So we're going to match up our underarm seam to the bodice. And the sleeves on this pattern are the same on the right and left. It's going to match up my underarm seam. And then we're going to go around and match the notches and then gather it all in at the top. At this point now we're going to make the bodice lining. So the lining is going to go together the same way as it did before. So like our front piece here we're going to do the uh, pleats at the front and the gathering at the bottom, attached to this, and then attach to the back. Now that we've made our lining, we're going to attach it into our dress. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right sides together and we're going to sew around the neckline. And take your time here, really make sure that you match up the seams really well. I like to match those first and then match everything else in between. Okay, so now I've gone and pinned it in all the way around and over here by the zipper, I folded the seam allowance back um, about half an inch and pinned it down like that. And I'm just gonna trim that off. Then we're going to just stitch all the way around the neckline. Once your lining is sewn to your neckline all the way around, uh, we're going to understitch it. So if you haven't understitched before, what that is is it means that we're going to sew on the lining just to the side of your seam line 
through the lining and the seam allowance. And this helps uh, keep the lining folded down in your neckline. It helps keep it like this so that the lining doesn't like ride up and poke out. It just helps give like a, a neat, clean, crisp, professional looking finish. Um, so it's, it's not too tricky. Just, you just want to sew just to the side of this and catch your seam allowance through all the way around. Once you have finished your understitching all the way around, we are going to press the lining and before we sew it down. So we need to create a little edge about half an inch and press it down. If you like, if you have metal pins, not plastic pins, just metal pins, you can pin this and press it. I'm just going to do this for now. And the bottom, we'll do the same thing here. I like to use a sleeve board or a tailor's ham um, if I'm going over edges like this that are curved I just find it easier but just press it we just want to make sure that this edge is nice and crisp we're going to sew along the edge here the lining top stitch it to here or if you want to if you're using a really fine fabric and you don't want your stitches to show you could uh, hand stitch like slip stitch it down I'm going to top stitch the lining in the, the armhole down to the armhole. Um, to make this a little bit easier, I took off the front part of my machine um, so I can use the free arm here. So if your machine has that, that will be much easier for you. Again, you can also um, slip stitch this if you want. It takes more time, but um, that's another option for you too. Now that we have top stitched around the lining around the sleeves um, and by the zipper, we're going to do it at the bottom bodice. So the trick here, there's two things. One, you don't want to end up sewing your sash. So I've got it moved back here. I moved it back here before I put it under the foot. And if you end up with this, like if your lining is like too far down, you're going to end up, pull, it's going to end up pulling the bodice. Um, so you just really need to make sure that your lining is like sitting in the right spot. I've got it pinned with the side seam here. Um, but it's, yeah, you don't want to end up pulling your lining down too far and stitching it down too far. Otherwise it will pucker up your bodice. It's not, and you can do this by hand if that's easier for you. I'm going to top stitch it today. And I've got my seam allowance folded under here and it's covering up the seam allowance of the bodice. Now that we've sewn the lining into the dress, it's time to do the hem. So just do a simple double turned hem about a quarter of an inch, turn it two times and top stitch and press and you're done.